Hello again, YouTube friends and family. It's Vanessa and came to share my second bag with you. Again, I'd actually done this video before, so I tried to, uh, but I messed it up. So I tried to wrap the bag back up the way it was, <laughs> but I couldn't get it just so. Oh, and I did such a fun unpacking. The video messed up, so here we are. This, as you can see from the title of the video, is the Coach Sarah Satchel. And I'm just going to pull off the packaging so easily because it's not packed the way it was when it came, but that's okay. So this is the Sarah and it's in the color Oxblood Multi. The tag says Color Block Exotic Sarah Satchel. Style number 69514. And the exotic is because of the snake, um, snake skin handles. And a little bit of snake skin trim on the hang tag. And although I didn't see it anywhere, oh, it is here on the zipper pulls. It does say 1941. I was about to say, I don't see that it's part of the 1941 collection, but it does look like it is. It does say it on the um, zipper pulls. And normally this type of hang tag comes with bags from the 1941 collection. So let me quickly, since I've already done this, and I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long. Pull the stuffing out for you really quick. And here is the Coach 1941 dust bag. And the care booklet and so forth. Toss that in the bag there. That. 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 And... For some reason, oh that's the strap, I tend to always buy color blocking bags. I don't know why. I love them, but I've really got to stop it. Almost every bag that I buy is a color block style. I rarely buy anything that's just a solid color anymore. Flowers on it or something. And here is the shoulder strap an ox blood and I don't know what you call that color so if anyone knows it looks kind of tan I thought it was beech wood but that's darker than beech wood and I'm about to show you that in a second but I'd like to take a look at the uh, dimensions of the bag really quick let's see and share that with you um, Six nine five one four. It says um, it's made of glove tan leather with genuine snakeskin details. So this is glove tan leather, um, like most bags from the nineteen forty one collection. Well, not all. No, there's pebble leather in the nineteen forty one collection. So excuse that. Um, inside zip and snap pockets, center zip compartment, side tab closure, and we'll take a look at that in a second handles with a four and a half inch drop and then the detachable shoulder strap a detachable strap with 20 inch drop for shoulder or crossbody wear the dimensions on the bag are 12 and a quarter long by nine and a quarter high and five and three quarters wide it's really a nice size bag i love it this is actually the second one that i purchased or uh, i exchanged this one and now I see that there was actually nothing, I don't want to say nothing wrong, but the bag for some reason, I don't know if you can see it in the video there, it does have a lean forward. And as I was taking a look at the bag, I was thinking maybe it's because it's heavier in the front because of this extra pocket. So let's see, let's take that out. And you'll be able to see that it has the little C emblem here and you slide this little tab up and that's how you access this front pocket here 
so that's how you'd access that pocket. And I'm thinking with this extra piece of leather here, where the back only has just this one, I think it's heavier in the front. So it has kind of a lean going on here. So I brought my other one back because I was like, oh, it looks the bag looks perfect, but it's got a lean on of some sort. And now I see that this one does too. Um, I don't know, maybe i got to start putting something heavier in the back to make it, it seems like it needs to, I don't know, don't want to ruin it. The inside is leather lined, and as you can see, it has a slip pocket here with a snap. The center compartment has nothing, but it is lined in that heavy, like, gingham, I guess, fabric that a lot of the 1941 bags have. And then here is the back, and it has a zipper compartment. So there is, so I can get it open. Yep. It also has that gingham type of fabric lining in it. So that's the zipper compartment. I love when the bags are leather lined. It just feels so luxurious, so much more luxurious than a uh, fabric lined, but um, I love my fabric lined bags as well. So it does have a magnetic closure so that attaches right there to that magnet and then if you wanted to carry it with just the shoulder strap and didn't want the handles to poke up underneath here you can tuck those inside and as you can see it's not causing any damage to the bag it's not going to make any indentations in the leather or anything like that I'm going to go ahead and attach shoulder strap. Let's see, maybe I should put it this way so the uh, that little thing's not digging into the leather. And let's push this out of the way so I can show you. Okay. How it hangs. And that's hanging just a little bit long for me. One thing I don't like is when they make these huge bags and they give you such a little skinny shoulder strap. So if you have anything in it with any type of weight, this shoulder strap is not going to be comfortable for you. But as you all know, you can buy um, extra straps for these bags and you can get a wider shoulder strap. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, all right. So I forgot the term that they used, but you can extend the width of the bag and what you can actually fit in there so I'm going to zip this up so you can see the difference there's like these little tabs in here move the handle out of the way move the price tag out of the way do you see the little tab there and it's got a little notch that goes through a hole in the tab I'm going to pull that and I'm going to put it in the first notch same thing here. It's got a little tab, and I hope you all can see that. Let me put my glasses on so maybe I can see myself in the mirror there and see what you're seeing. No, I can't see anything. Um, but anyway, there's another tab there, and you put it on. There's a little prong. You see the little prong? And then you just put that on that one. I have another bag that extends this way but they made the holes the little notches so tight it's hard to move so there we go and then that makes the bag open even wider because it extended this little belt here and so you can fit more stuff into it and use it like a a tote you know if you wanted to carry it as a work bag and let's see Let's put the yeah tablet fits in there just fine, as you can see. And let's put the rest of my stuff in there so you can see what that looks like. Um, toss that there. Got a spare phone. Where will I put that? How about here? Okay. And yeah, let's get my stuff. I've got my wallet, my little thin wallet that I use. You can actually use a, a much bigger wallet in this bag. 
Maybe I'll put the wallet in the zippered compartment. Because that's where you'd want to keep your valuables in the zippered part. And this is my little makeup bag that I carry on a regular basis. Here's my charger. Um, I've got sunglasses. Let's see. They can slide right in here up front with the charger. I've got a lotion. I've got keys and my hand sanitizer. I'm putting those right in the center compartment with my wallet. And I think I'll put those on the back. Yeah, with where my tablet is. The lotion. And I carry two sets of keys that are my car keys. So they want to be on the inside. My little novelty pen, that'll be up here with my makeup bag. And I'll just tuck that down in there. And I've got my snack. You can't go anywhere without your snack. That's back here with my tablet. So, sunglasses, I'm going to put those in the center compartment as well. Now, let's let you see where I've got everything. I hope you all can see that. There goes my box. So yeah, it's pretty well stuffed. I'm going to zip it up. Put the uh, magnetic piece there. Close it up. And there we go. Now, let's talk about these colors. Let's talk about these colors. Okay, so we know that this is Oxblood. I have another bag that's Oxblood that I wanted to compare. Oh... Actually, I do have another bag of socks put, and I didn't grab the right bag to share with you, but I'll get that in a second. And I this bag is beech, beech wood and chalk. So I was concerned about this color that's on the side. And as you can see, it's not beech wood and it's not chalk. So if anyone knows the name of that color there, because all it tells you is multi here. Yeah. Oxblood Multi, so I don't know the name of the other colors. Let's set that down there. I'm going to get my other Oxblood bag in a second. And then the color that's on the inside, um, I think it's that color called Sunrise, I think. I think it's Sunrise. Can you all see that at all? Let me get a little closer. So, I think that's what it is. It's kind of a pinky, beige, I don't know, color. Um, I think. Hang on a second, and I'm going to get the other Oxblood to compare. Okay, so, I am back, and here is my Oxblood Rogue 25. And my new Oxblood, Sarah. The color is pretty similar, but I guess because this is a pebbled leather and this is a gloved hand leather, maybe it takes dye differently. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. So the colors are similar, but not exact. So I was a little concerned with, I was like, oh, I just got an Oxblood bag. Do I really need to be getting another Oxblood bag? But uh, now that I see that they're quite different, um, the colors of the Oxblood, I'm happy that I got my Sarah in the Oxblood. Although the, uh, the Sarah in the blue color, I think it's called Ink, is very beautiful. I'm going to pop a picture of that in so you can see. And... Let's see, it doesn't say that it's made of glove tanned leather printed in gold like it normally does on a, oh, I scratched it, on a um, 1941 bag. It's normally printed on the bottom, but it's not on this one. It does have feet. I love the way it's made. It's just a really, really nice bag. Um, what else do I need to tell you about Sarah? That's all I can think of. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.